Hello everyone, my name is Cat Knight, and today I was going back to play King's Quest, Chapter 1, A Night to Remember. This is Part 3, and we are on our way to find an eye. Whisper! Mm. Ooh. Whisper can do it! We need an eye for the the tournament of a hideous beast of some sort. So I am taking Graham to go and find one. Apparently somebody's built a makeshift bridge of sorts. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, <laughs> it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Awesome. Keep out. Under construction. Well, that was obvious. Caution. Bees and distress. <laughs> I wonder who caused that. Oh, we can't go that way. So, how did you find an eye? There's a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! Or rude! <laughs> really shouldn't stick your hand in, in random bushes, but... Okay, then. Straight, or... Yeah, well, let's go straight. I'll keep going straight, see what happens. Stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Uh, um. uh. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that? <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. <laughs> Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, what do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. 
A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. <laughs> Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ulfi is starving. Well, sounds like I need to feed a hungry bridge troll something sweet. No one should notice one bell missing. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daventry to grow into the kingdom it is today. I better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge. Oh. Huh, what a peculiar trap. Oh. Gee. Meat in the face. All right, sugar shrooms. Sugar shrooms. Gee, I wonder what sugar shrooms are. Let's see. Let me try this way. Don't worry. The Wedzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. <laughs> Moving any further in the dark seemed like a bad idea. Okay, not that way. Wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. Fantastical floating island. Only steps away. It's so floaty. You'll be amazed. <laughs> Almost there. World's greatest and only floating island. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Well, now, of course, I have to go see what's over here. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. Bees! 
I ruined the bees' day. <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, though I was craving a cliffside snack. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. <laughs> this was on my bucket list. Apparently you can't go to it. other way. Mm -hmm. uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. <laughs> into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. <laughs> like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. delivery boy are you that merchant is usually so prompt with our air miraculous and oftentimes delicious ingredients oh horse feathers chester this boy's no courier he desires a position in king edward's court he appears to be a compassionate gentleman but he is clearly out of his comfort zone he is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging phase. <laughs> Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> Uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that Deja pot. Deja vu. What's this? Oh. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Oh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. <laughs> he reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with potions. He'll return. He just has some adventures of his own to seek. How can we help? 
Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham. Graham with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Aventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a wow. fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Fare thee well. May your cap be one of thinking. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Oh. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Back away from the Crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. What can I get you? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. 
As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, have a kind heart. Probably wouldn't blind a beast just to win a competition. Your arms look like they've never even held a bow. No, you're just too nice. But perhaps you'll prove me wrong. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no. That's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. <laughs> Bye. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! Hello there, and good afternoon, if I do say so myself. Sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. Oh, I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? Yes, lad? That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! <laughs> You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. What's today special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one hmm. sitting before. Like well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. But I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Interesting. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? The starberries. They are yellow and uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. Never mind. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want! Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. So a pie, a lantern, or a gardening tool. A wicked gardening tool that leads to that well might be useful. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, 
Hey, Graham. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? I did. The gold costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. See if I can get those weeds whacked. a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that yet, Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs> Yeah. I was out of my league down there, but I had something to prove. So much to see that way, so I turned around and went back. Well, Alarma Athamata. Stella Athamata. 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 Wata. Mata Ava Mata Stalama Ava Mata Stalama What was it that Tracker said? He said Stalama Stalama. So I must not have jumped. 
Right, of course I didn't. Wata. Afamata. Afamata. Stella Afamata. Stalama Afamata. Stalama Afamata. 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 Water. I took the long way, he took the astounding way. No matter that I would be mine.
далеко. Стулама, стулама! Ну-ка. Опана! Ну-ка. Опанара! Hey, good looking out. A chaka. Buta! Up and up. Still on, still on. Ooh. Ha. Buta. Up and up. Still on, Up and up. Uh, still on, still on. Ooh. 
Puta! Uh, Stalama, Stalama. Ooh. Maybe it would work. Puta! Off and on. Just stay over there, little dragon. Another friend. Think we could share that dragon eye? Shweki, Afamata. My thoughts exactly.
Tanaka. I'm done. I am done. This is not for me. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going home. Where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. And what I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. I could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess the Chaka was wrong. What? What? Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. Spill it. Well, a Chaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that Achaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. But I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck Achaka's village, Ichtuwe. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Oh, great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. Because of you, a village will be saved. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh... If you're not going to compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans. They need you. You're their last hope. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. But proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry. And this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. I'd look happier if that was my eye. I'd look less happy if that was my face. Look who's talking. Yes, look who is talking. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. That's what you get, Mr. Springbottom. Hi-ya! Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. Ha <laughs> ha! You will compete against each other in a duel of strength 
and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. Good luck! So that's where we are going to end it for now. If you like this video, as always, please like hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos and definitely feel free to check us out on Facebook as well. Have an awesome day. Thank you. So